Hi everyone, so I'm Itamar, the founder of Argent. Um, I was told I could make a live demo, so I will, uh, I will not do much about the slides and I will quickly jump to a live demo on the phone, but give me first maybe a few minutes to recap what we are doing at Argent. So we are building a new type of wallet where we put security and business logic at the protocol layer. Uh, the reason we do that is because to have mass adoption in crypto, we think we need to simplify things. I guess most of the people in the room will agree uh, on that. So it's too easy to lose assets, uh, quite scary to make a transaction. Like me, you might be reviewing for 10 minutes the exact address you send your money to. I mean, sometimes it takes me half an hour to make a transaction and it's really scary. And usually wallets can't really interact with dApps. There are some solutions out there, but uh, not yet enough. So. Um, we basically started by making our shopping list. We thought we need to build a non-custodial wallet, uh, but that is the UX of Revolut or Monzo. So literally we listed on the security side, you should be able to freeze your account the same way you lose your wallet. You call your bank, you say, freeze my card, send me a new one. Uh, recovery if you lose your phone should be easy. Uh, again, like your bank, you just ask for a new card. Um, you should be able to block fraudulent transaction. If someone enter into my bank account, try to drain the account, it's very likely my bank will call me. Uh, you should be able to set maybe a daily limit. Uh, it should have the usual biometric, uh, but it should be simple. So maybe I can set some trusted contact to who I can send a lot of money because, uh, and my bank will know that it's, uh, it's safe. Uh, I shouldn't have to deal with gas, it's too complex. Uh, and ideally I shouldn't see this long public cryptic address anymore. Um, so is that possible? And the answer is yes, uh, using smart contracts. Uh, so by putting security at the layer of the smart contract, you can create an experience that really has all the advantage uh, of uh, the revolut of Monzo on the world, of the world, but stay fully decentralized and non-custodial. Non so I think the best is really to show it straight on the phone uh, live. And let's hope I don't get ton of... Uh, notification, so I'll launch Argent. So look, it feels like a normal wallet. Um, yeah, can we see more or less contrast? Yeah, that's fine. So, uh, you know, I have my assets, it feels like a, a nice looking wallet, but actually the private key in my phone has no ETH. There is no assets, nothing on that private key, it's just a remote control to my account. So I can do the usual, uh, for example, uh, I will send uh, maybe a few die to someone, so here I will pick uh, my co-founder Julian, I'll send him $2, that's how easy. Done, there's no transaction fee, there's no, there's no notion of gas, it's as easy as making a uh, payment to a friend in Revolut, for example. Um, but then where it gets more interesting, I can suddenly interact with some protocols, so that's Kyber, I want to buy bats, I'll do it, so I'll buy two bats today. Done, again, it takes two seconds. I go quick because that's the idea is to show you that's how easy to do. And now these transactions are being mined. We use meta transaction, meaning as a user, you don't have to worry um, about, uh, about gas, anything like that. So it gets more interesting if we talk about security is we have created the concept of guardians. So some people call that social recovery. So we wanted to emulate the experience of your bank. You call them, hey, uh, I lost my wallet, and you get your new card. So with Guardians, uh, sorry, uh, with Guardian you do the same. So you define people you will trust. Instead of blindly trusting your bank, you can decide, uh, um, so for example, it can be friends and family. They have the app. They don't have access to your key. They don't have access to your funds, but you give them the right to trigger a recovery procedure. Uh, but if you don't trust friends and family, you can use hardware wallet. You can have three hardware wallets. They don't need funds on it. Again, they just act as guardian in case of problem. Or you can use what we call Argent Guard, which is a custodian, not of your key, not of your fund. Again, of another key that is just used uh, in case of problem. And that experience is really seamless. So if I want to add a guardian, let's say I want to add Miguel as a guardian. I add Miguel as a guardian. Dawn, again, it takes you know, a few seconds and it's over. Uh, a lot of, we play a lot on timing for security reasons, so adding a guardian will only be set in stone after 24 hours to avoid someone, you know, adding 10 guardian at a party. Where it gets more interesting, um, let's do another type of experiment. Can, as does someone has an Ethereum wallet on their phone uh, right now? Uh, can someone pull a QR code on Ethereum? Okay, someone there. Uh, I'll send you money, so you should, yeah. yeah. Um, 
So any QR code, any app, um, and let's prepare a transfer. So I have here 77 ETH, $18,000 more or less, that I will send to uh, Arthur, if he's the first. So let's click send, pull out the camera. I, I, you will have to come to me. So Arthur is about to get his... Uh <laughs> it's it must be con base, that's why it's slow, right? So yeah, I can see from the color. <laughs> so, let's send, uh, here we are, QR code, recognize. Here we are. So, I will send 77.5 ETH to Arthur. Uh, no, it, it's happening, I'm clicking continue. That's the final screen, that's the confirmation screen, so I'm going for it. I'm clicking send. So, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> So what's happening now? The smart contract, so again, it's not in the app, it's not in our backend. The smart contract sees a large transfer above a daily limit I've set to an address I don't trust because I didn't know Arthur, it wasn't staged. Uh, so I've, it will basically, even if I go ahead, so I'll go ahead, it will take 24 hours. So this transaction will be mine. I don't need to save you as a contact. Uh, but in fact, the smart contract will not trigger the payment for another further 24 hours. So I was maybe drunk at a bar, you got my phone, or, or you stole my private key in some way. Still, you cannot take the money. Uh, so now I will, you know, I'll just go back after the talk and cancel it at any time. Uh, if I wanted to make that payment, I would use my guardian. I would set you as a trusted contact. So it is possible to have the same uh, ease of use as your bank uh, in a fully non-custodial way. Uh, to be more secure, I believe, than a hardware wallet, because even with your private key, people cannot steal your funds. This is, I think, the end of the demo. You can, of course, have contacts. It looks very slick, very easy to use. Uh, you can uh, maybe trusting a contact, so you see it's not very complicated. So Miguel, we had, I will trust him. One tap, again, it's done. Um, so that's really Arjun. And again, the key is using smart contract. Uh, you know, let's maybe just, uh, yeah, it's okay, your payment is not going through, so it's fine. Uh, we can switch back to the slides. Um, so we spent 18 months, almost two years, just making the basics right. So being able to store funds in an extremely secure way, uh, being able to recover it. So in January, we had our smart contract on mainnet, had an iPhone app, and just waited. Uh, it took two, three months for people to start losing their phone. You would be surprised. It didn't take that long. Our phone being smashed by a car, and a few hundred thousand dollars of recovery have now been made. Uh, again, no seed phrase. So you do not, never, never back up your private key on paper. That's probably the biggest security hole in the whole ecosystem because if I see that piece of paper, it's over, you'll never get your money back. Uh, with Arjun, no seed phrase, and even if you have my private key, you cannot steal my funds. Um, but the goal, and uh, you know, the goal is to enable Web3. Uh, I don't think on this stage I have to explain why it's important, but we see you know, Ethereum and other programmatic blockchains, the foundation of a, you know, a new internet of value or a new layer of the web. Uh, and that's what we want to enable. Um, so you saw Kyber network in the apps. That's a protocol for decentralized exchange. So that's the first protocol we've integrated. By mid-July, you will be able to open a maker CDP, so a collateralized loan in one transaction. Uh, no one can do that. Again, we can do it because we have prog programmable money. We, we talk for years about programmable money. Crypto is not programmable money. A private key with funds cannot be programmed. There's nothing that can be done. With a smart contract, you can put logic. So a CDP will take one con transaction because a smart contract will orchestrate everything. Uh, you will start making interest on all your assets. Uh, so you can just, uh, we use Compound at start, but there are staking providers we are working with. Uh, so ex any asset should may allow you to earn money. And so that's the start of us interacting with the ecosystem. And later in this year, you will see experience that are outside Argent, where Argent becomes the identity, and then you just interact uh, with dApps with Argent instead of using a MetaMask or equivalent. Uh, so that's Argent. Uh, you can download it. So do I, yeah, just go on argent.xyz. Uh, you will see that we have a, white a wait list. We pay for gas for everyone, so we don't add millions of users uh, straight away, but we'll make sure everyone gets access as soon as possible. And Android is being pushed to the App Store now. So it might be live on your phone. Uh, if you look for it on Android, it's literally been pushed a few hours ago. Thank you.